Good evening, I'm Christine Johnson, joined by Maurice Duan. Tonight, we dive into the critical points of the vice presidential debate that addressed key issues from immigration to the Middle East. It was a civil discussion, but the candidates made sure to defend their policies and attack their opponents. The debate opened with discussions about the Middle East, with both candidates skirting around a direct answer on supporting a preemptive strike on Iran. They emphasized support for Israel's decisions but refrained from bold commitments, likely due to the importance of Michigan, a battleground state with a significant Arab-American population. The conversation shifted to the immigration crisis, with one candidate blaming Kamala Harris for open border policies, while the other criticized Donald Trump's false statements about migrants. They each pointed fingers but did not offer concrete solutions to address the current situation. In discussing women's health, the candidates clashed on abortion and reproductive rights. One warned of Project 2025, which they claimed would severely restrict contraception and fertility treatments, while the other argued that decisions should be left to individual states, respecting the diversity of the country. They also addressed the January 6 Capitol riot and Donald Trump's refusal to admit his loss in the 2020 election, creating further tension. Both candidates presented their visions, and though they attempted to strike middle ground positions, they largely stuck to their respective party lines, leaving many wondering if the debate shifted any opinions. As the debate concluded, the candidates took their messages to the spin room, but the big question remains, did tonight's debate sway any voters? Tomorrow, the campaign trail will reveal the impact of this evening's exchange. Stay tuned for further updates.